Collins plays Feed the Beast Monster. Yo ho ho, Minecraft fans, it's Collins, and hope you're ready for some more Feed the Beast Monster. <laughs> so I've been playing with the. Uh, what have I been working on? You know, I took some of that cursed earth out of the mob trap, and I made a bigger mob essence tank because I was getting too much mob <laughs> essence. Um, and then we looked at the Quarry Plus stuff last time, so now I want to do a Mistcraft world. I have a whole bunch of these biomes, but I don't have any really good ones, and I don't have, um, I wanted single. I have small and tiny, but I don't have single biome. I have standard world and skylands. Um, but I mixed up a whole bunch of pages, and I've always failed at this, so I think these are all biomes that will, um, not spawn mobs. Like, these are all Twilight Forest biomes that only have passive mobs. And then standard world, normal stars, normal sun, because this is the only one to have, normal lighting, normal weather, and there's a bunch of random stuff at the end. Uh, caves, ravines, dungeons, and spheres. Um, I have no idea what that's going to do. How do I make a miscraft book from this? Oh, i got to put a link panel in the beginning, right? Okay. I don't even know how to make a dang miscraft world. Alright, this is uh, age four. And we got a spot for it. And I think I have somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so this is a linking book back to world spawn, and it doesn't have. Um, it doesn't have internal linking. And then this is just the notebook for carrying pages. You know what? Let's pop in here real quick and see what it looks like. Let's just put that on the hot bar. Uh, I have no idea. So uh, hold on a second while we load the world. Well, I got a waypoint set and I made a world. I make the worst miscraft worlds. We are in Rainbow Forest. We have mining fatigue. <laughs> And it's raining. Uh, but this whole thing is no passive mobs. I mean, uh, no, it's only passive mobs. Because uh, these are all Twilight Forest biomes. So this is uh, Rainbow Forest, which is a Twilight Forest, no hostile spawn. This is Winter's Woods, same thing. Twilight Forest, no hostile spawn. Uh, Twilight Forest, again, no hostile spawn in this stuff, I don't think. Ethereal Bloom, can I? Oh, sweet. I wonder if I can use that for taint. It's a brown flower, Dietrich's flowers. There's a bunch of, hmm. This probably built like nasty. Why is that one higher than the other? Whoa! I lost my flight. Yeah, it's gonna be impossible to find, um... Oh, the bird's flying. Awesome. It's probably gonna be dang near impossible to find any of the, um, abandoned libraries. But, heck, screw it. I'm throwing a Query Plus in here. Oh, and it did make spheres. I put spheres in here. I still don't have any of that um, that blue crystally stuff that that you use to make the twilight or to make the um, mistcraft portals. I haven't found any of that in the world. Of course, I've only generated two worlds. So because I said spheres, no, nothing. It's gonna make them all out of glass. Dang it! All right, let's go back home and um, look at our query plus stuff. Okay, so we're back home. Um, just as a side note, I have been getting a bunch of um, fish from that net thing that I set up over there. It's got a, like a little spot loader and a bunch of nets and then a chest with an uh, item collector, advanced item collector. Just been getting a bunch of stuff. Um, I've been growing a bunch of these normal essence crop because I want to do another essence stuff. I want to get I want to do cobalt and aridite, and that way we can do because I have some cobalt and aridite. 
Um, but I want to make more of this manilium and make some manilium tools. Maybe make one of those scythes out of manilium, even though I put a lot into that scythe. Um, or uh, one of the hammers. Or even one of the, um, yeah, whatever. We can make some of that stuff. But let's check out the Quarry Plus stuff. So I made this thing. This is the enchant mover. And I realized that I was setting all this stuff up on the um, in the LP crafting system. But like I'm not going to make a ton of these. So I basically just threw all the ingredients in the um, laser table and let it go. It's kind of slow because I don't have enough. Well, I have a ton of lasers for normal stuff, but not for the Query Plus stuff. It's a pr cons pretty low. Um, but anyway, I made all the stuff, threw it in there, and made this assembly table. Um, I do have a thing to make markers. I think I've seen someone do this before with the marker pluses and they don't like normal markers when you landmarks when you um, use them they drop on the ground you can pick them up again but I don't think that the marker pluses do but anyway we got all that stuff um, and I figured out an easy way to do the enchants what I did was um, because I had some enchants, but not all of them for a good pick. So um, while we're doing this, let's make a diamond. Uh, so I had some good enchants for a pick, but not a lot. So what I did was actually just uh, enchant it up. I made a gold pick. Because I was going to enchant a bunch of diamond picks, but that gets really expensive. So I made a gold pick and enchanted a couple of those up. Because um, gold... Oh, now it's raining here too. Dang it. Because gold is uh, more enchantable, I guess, you could say. Um, so we want to do fortune, unbreaking, and efficiency. And we'll save the silk touch. So I think I can just pop over here and use this guy to do it. So it's usually best to start off with the highest numbers. Right? Efficiency fortune and unbreaking and then let's get our actually I think I have them set up yep to go in here okay so there's the query plus so how does this bad boy work query plus put that in there um, and then efficiency you have to do it one at a time I think unbreaking will reduce the power. Efficiency, unbreaking. Oh, cool, and it didn't damage my pick. That means I can, if I want to, I can do a second one with a silk touch on it. Um, the other thing I looked at was this is quadruple and triple cobblestone, and this is stuff to make, to use the division signal. You can use this for um, the portal to the deep dark. Damn it the wrong button yeah portal to the deep dark but you got to do four ingots and yeah I'm not ready for that we're gonna do this we're gonna take advantage of this miscraft age um, so queries pump plus uh, uh, let me get all the stuff together and I'll meet you in the miscraft age okay so we're back in this rainy mining fatigue miscraft age sorry guys uh, so we're right next to home base. I basically just picked the next chunk out. And I think I'm setting this up right. So I went up basically to above most of the tree line of everything. And uh, threw up a marker plus, And then you give it a redstone signal. And it gives lines out in the directions. And we're going to go in this direction here and query all this out. So we should be able to just like zoom over here. Oh, that isn't high enough for everything. But these things go out pretty far. And we're going to go out and we're going to max it. And at the base, I have... Um, look at all this stuff. It doesn't even render right. <laughs> well, it's hard time rendering because of the trees. And because of the... Um, oh, there's the edge. Uh, the trees make it hard to render. And so does the... Um, That wasn't, well, whatever.
Uh, the trees in the rain make it so that I get a lot of render lag over here, but that's fine. And damn mining fatigue. Okay, so now I can put another marker plus there. Oh yeah, so shift normal click with an empty hand automatically puts the angel block in your inventory. I always forget about that and mine it like a normal brick. Uh, so this is the max it'll go, but I don't want to load extra chunks, so we're going to go right there. And then we need to go in a diagonal direction. I don't remember those birds flying. I remember them always walking on the ground. That's cool, though. Um, we're going to have to actually go and do, like, open the portal to the Twilight Forest. <laughs> because that's what I did last time, is I did all this Twilight Forest stuff. Um, in the Mistcraft world, and then I never actually did the Twilight Forest. Well, I did, but it was pretty late in the game when I did. Uh, so let's see if we can get this done right this time. How far out does this go? This is huge! Uh, the cool thing about this being so big is I don't have to mess, like, worry about it. So if I go right there... That's close enough for a hand grenade. Okay. And we're going to have to find out if it actually gives you your markers back. Because I don't know. So marker plus. So it's right on the border of the chunks. So we're not loading more extra chunks. Let's see. Open hand. Sh shift normal click. And it goes right into my inventory. It's perfect. And then this is going to be <laughs> slower than heck. This is a crappy. This is a crappy world for videos, but um, it's a messcraft age. We're going to load it and put the query plus in here, and then we're done. I don't know other stuff. Yeah, the only other thing I'll do is look for abandoned libraries. Um, and we're going to get most of this tree stuff. Yeah, there's going to be a few things that stay on the top, but. Um, and then Query Plus and Pump Plus, we should be able to get all the stuff from that. Okay, so, break you, please go faster. Uh, Chompy, did you take my switch? No, oh, it's in my hand, okay. So we don't need any more markers. What we need to do is right click this, and they link, and then we go Query Plus. And my markers disappeared. Okay. So the marker pluses get consumed when you put down the query plus. And there is no interface for this. Next to it, we're going to put our pump plus. And again, there's no interface. There might be, I think there's an item that you can, um, like a monitoring tool or whatever. So then we're going to put our ender chest above there. And um, we're going to put do the power thing and I don't really know what I'm going to do with fluids Chompy you're in the way, get out of the way come on Chompy move I'm just going to avoid buying all the fluids because I don't want to deal with it all um, I'm not using oil for anything I'm not going to use the water for anything I don't, re I, I don't need lava for power I don't need any of that crap um, and then we hook this bad boy up let's see Sending, receiving all. Okay, so it's receiving power. And then if we go power items. We should be getting power. <laughs> Those birds flying with the mining fatigue is crazy looking. So you're getting power. Query plus. Well, it says it has 13, 923.5 MJs. It's got the mark things. I think it's working. I can't tell. It's so damn massive. Is it building something and it's just too far out for me to see? <laughs> this thing is nuts. I don't know. And it doesn't give a message, does it? Nope, it doesn't say like the normal query does. It says when you place it, it's like loading five chunks or whatever. 
Look how far this goes out. <gasps> it stopped. Oh no. Is this a render thing? Alright. Let me find out what it's doing and I'll be back. Okay, so I figured out the problem with the Quarry Plus. Apparently I didn't go high enough, so it was clearing out some blocks within this space. Uh, the other cool thing about the Quarry Plus is this thing is only four blocks tall and the other one's five blocks tall. But next time I build one, we're going to have to actually, um, or next time I place one in here, we're going to have to place it a little bit higher in the world, I think. Uh, just so it clears out all the trees and all that junk at the top of the world. Um, but let's go back over, let's actually go over to Skyleg. Um, and I'll meet you there because it's going to take a little bit. Well, <laughs> Skyleg being its usual leggy self, uh, as far as block leg, but everything seems to be working except for these guys. So my segmills, like they're stuck in progress, and they do this every once in a while to me, and I'm not sure why. Um, I might, you know what? They're hooked up to an ender chest, so I might just take them to like home base and or even the world spawn and let them process from there. Maybe that's it. There's some maybe it's a block leg thing or something. Because I know everything over here is, um, this is block leg. It, it's there's something in the display of it, and I think it it's a combination of everything, like having it so high up in the world, and um, I don't know. There's a bunch of something's causing problems. Um, the other thing I did was I did some more boilers. So we have a bunch more charcoal. So I did another half height. Or well, another. This is a full height boiler. This is a half height solid fuel boiler, and then um, half height liquid fuel boiler. Just because, um, mainly just to burn off the stuff that I've been I've been collecting. Uh, I'm still, so I have a full size solid fuel here, a full size solid fuel at uh, my new base, and that half size solid fuel, and I still have a surplus of charcoal. <laughs> um, and I'm still getting a surplus of biofuel even with this thing running. So I basically just did it to get rid of more of the charcoal and the biofuel to burn it off. Uh, but also it makes it so that I don't have to do anything else to get the Quarry Plus going. And we should be... Yeah, these are all... These are all still maxed out. So the, the, it's not even, the Quarry Plus isn't even phasing them. Here's my sorting system pouch, and you can see things are going in, but not very fast. Oh, that just dies. Um, so what the Quarry Plus is doing right now is actually cutting down the canopy of the forest. So it's like hitting a tree, like it would hit a tree over here, and then jump over here, and pop one piece off a tree, and then jump over there and pop one piece off. And So it's not really doing like a constant um, digging yet until it gets through the canopy of trees that are scattered around. So once it hits ground layer, it'll be doing constant power. Um, until then, I can't really tell how much power it's using up. And I figured out this segmel thing. Well, I didn't figure it out. I looked it up online. Um, but I brought them over here, and they did the same thing. And what it's doing, apparently, is there's a couple recipes that are broken in the config file. And um, basically, it takes a crap ton of power, like a million in RF. Um, and like five minutes to um, complete one of these uh, for certain items like aluminum I think and then uh, I've been putting wheat in here to get seeds out of it and apparently that does it too. Um, when I first put those recipes, in, when I first set up those recipes to craft to throw the resources in there um, it wasn't doing that uh, but I had updated the monster pack since then and something in one of the updates broke it and there's supposedly an update to Ender.io that fixes it, but you have to also update the configs, and there's some item ID conflicts you have to resolve, whatever. I didn't want to deal with it right now. <laughs> um, and then, what's the other thing I did? So I did this. This is have a villager safari net, <laughs> and then I put an auto spawner up here with all the cabling hidden around in there. Um, Basically, I can put villagers in here and uh, melt them in the Tyco smelter <laughs> into liquid emeralds and then get the emeralds out of them. So I have, like, you know, gem casts for emeralds and things like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just some goofy thing. I People have done this before, so it's not a big deal. 
Um, and then I had this is set up down here. I did get a couple more of those ethereal glasses pieces. Uh, they're obviously pretty easy to make because it's only one um, unstable ingot. And then I grabbed a wasp from the nether and a zombie and a skeleton. Basically just so I have more of each. I don't know why. <laughs> um, and I was going to do something. Well, I was going to do that villager thing down here. So I put a Tycho's Meltery down here and set it all up. But I haven't actually used it for anything. So it's just set up, but there's nothing else. So I built this room and that's it. Um, maybe we'll use that room for something else. Uh, jeans. Have I done any jeans things? No, I was going to do the zombies and get the... Um, because you can get a resistance gene from the zombies, but I'm already so dang overpowered now. Um, so there are a couple things that I wanted to do. I did want to do this portal to the deep dark, but um, I think we're going to save that for later. Uh, I'll probably, I'm probably just going to take all of my armor and gear and stuff and put it in a box somewhere so that, uh, um, and then go over there and craft it. Because if I blow up because there's four unstable ingots, so if I blow up, I don't want to lose all my stuff. Um, and then, uh, oh yeah, there was that roguelike dungeon. So there's a roguelike dungeon that's about a thousand, it's about 600 blocks from from where we first spawned in the world. And I did want to explore that, but the other thing that I've been doing, aside from modded Minecraft, is I've been, uh, I started a Vex map, and there's videos for that too, so if you guys want to see me do a, uh, um, I complete the monument uh, super hostile vex map you can watch me do that um, but there's a lot of dungeon crawling in there so uh, I think we'll skip the roguelike dungeon until we finish, wrap up that series or start to end it up because I'm not really in the mood for another dungeon crawl right now um, I think what we'll do soon is we will build I have um, axe and shovel I use every once in a while and I wanted to do one of these. Is it not in here? That's a lumber axe and an excavator. What I really just wanted. Oh, this one, the mattock. So you can use it for wood and dirt. And I know it's probably not the best, but I just want one tool that I can do. And I'll do it kind of the same as the scythe, where, you know, it's got RF on it and stuff like that. Um, the other thing I did was I got cobalt and ardite and manilium because uh, I did want to do the next tools I do with um, Tyco is going to be manilium. Let's see what we got in here. So the other thing I have is this magic, this essence comes from magic crops. And I've done this before, but just so you guys see how I do it, because I always do it off camera most of the time. So these essence crops come from essence seeds, and this is magic crops. Um, and then you take your infused stone, which I already have in here, um, and then the essence dust. You can turn that into weak essence with four of them. And then the weak essence, come on. You can turn that into regular essence with four of those. And then that will go into strong essence with four of those. <laughs> so 64 essence to make one strong. And then you need four strongs to make this extreme. And what we need is we need four extremes and four strong essences. And then we can use the ardite and the cobalt to make um, magic crop seeds that grow ardite and cobalt. <laughs> Uh, so I think what I'll do is work on that, and I'm not quite there, but uh, we got a few, yeah. So there's essence seeds, and again, those come from up in Skylag. There's a sprinkler that just fertilizes grass, and then um, the harvester harvests the grass and gets random seeds. So essence seeds come from that, and then I just have nine of them planted over here with a bunch of these uh, lily pads of fertility. Um, I had a sprinkler over here, but it was just making a big mess. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven lily pads of fertility. These things grow super fast. Um, the other thing I want to do with this thing here, maybe we'll do this now, 
is I have the diamond, so we can pop this into here. Can I get up high enough that it's not going to be a problem? Oh yeah, didn't phase me at all. And I'm not even worried about this. Twilight Forest. Okay, so let's first of all do a waypoint. And then if we bring this down about there, it should be, there we go. Okay, so now we got our waypoint back. And, you know, I wanted to explore a bunch of this, but um, it's kind of near in the end, about ready to wrap up the episode. So what I think I'll do is let's go back really quick. All right, so since we've already gotten some Twilight Forest biomes in the Mistcraft world, I wanted to look at some of the stuff we can make in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a firefly jar. That's cool. Uh, so there's all this different armor. What's a crumble horn do? Uncrafting table. Oh, we can do fire jets. Um, ironwood. Do we have any ironwood? How do you make the ironwood armor? Ironwood ingots. We have ironwood logs. Is there a use for ironwood logs? How do you make the ironwood ingots? You cook the raw ironwood, which comes from live root, gold nugget, and iron ingots. I think what we'll do next episode is we will actually just make some. Um, we'll we'll not go into we won't go into the twilight forest with the overpowered. Maybe we will. I don't know yet. Um, maybe we'll make some of the twilight forest armor. The other thing we can do, do I have everything for this? I don't have torch berries. Um, I did get some raven's feathers from the Mistcraft world. Um, maybe we'll find some torch berries. We'll have to kill some of those skeleton druids and uh, make a map. And then maybe we'll make some twilight forest armor and we'll use the twilight forest armor when we're in the twilight forest. Because uh, the stuff we have on now is pretty overpowered, all this bedrock stuff. Uh, but I think we'll do that next episode. Uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying this. And don't forget to check out the uh, Vex map because that thing's pretty crazy. <laughs> um, but I think we're ready to sign off. So thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everyone who likes and subscribes. Um, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know good or bad. If I'm doing something stupid. Why did I have that out? I don't know. I can go back in here. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody, and we'll catch you guys later.